Hey guys, I've got a lot of video requests telling me I want to go from Final Cut Pro to Shake, work on it in Shake, and then reconnect and send my media back to Final Cut Pro. But after I get through working on my stuff in Shake, and I try to send my stuff back to Final Cut Pro, I can't get it to, to, to work. I can't get it to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. As you can see, I have my Windows FU video loaded up here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to Send to, Shake. And then it's going to ask you for a path to save your script and your movie. As you can see under my movies folder, I have a folder named from Shake to FCP. I'll just use that one. And I'll choose my placeholder, same folder. Now I have that set up. I'm just going to hit Export. I'm going to make sure I have Launch Shake selected. I'm going to hit Export. It's going to render this out, the video, if it needs rendered. I'm doing this from the beginning and going through the whole thing to let you guys see it from start to finish so there will be no confusion. So let's let this render out here. We're on 80%. It kind of gets slower towards the end there because there's more going on inside the video. So we'll let it go and it's done. Now you can see I've got a different sequence here. Another one on top of that one. It says sequence 5 and it says shake right there. And you can see shake is launching. Now I have tons and tons of plugins inside Shake, so it takes it a little bit longer for my version of Shake to launch than it does yours. Okay, so now as you can see, it's pulled our project right in here, and here it is. Coming in right there. Now what it's done is, here's the movie, right there at the top. Then, we have a select node which is for if you have another clip and you want to do some editing this is a select node and then under your select node it throws in a multiplane node and then it has the file out node so let's go in here I don't, don't really matter where I'm going to go in here right after this node here and let's go into let's see here Let's just do something to change the look of it so I can demonstrate this. Let's go to tool, let's go to color, brightness. And let's brighten this value up a lot. We'll darken it down. Well, we'll brighten it up. Let's try to do a lot of little color changes here so we can kind of see what's going on I want to uh, uh, let's go to my physics plugin let's see what kind of plugins they got here they've got a lot of good looking stuff I'm trying to find anything that kinda just makes it stand out and it's gonna be kinda hard to with this deal that I got here Techni 2 strip let's try that that really don't help much does it so I'll tell you what we're gonna do I'll remove the brightness and Techni 2 strip and we'll just go in here and place a plain old color saturation and we'll just pull the saturation out of this sucker and now it's black and white as you can see okay um, if you wanted to you could go in and do some roto work or whatever you wanted to do but we're just gonna stick to maybe bad TV too there we go. Now we got some scan lines and stuff. Um, and it's black and white. So now we've done these adjustments in Shake. How do we get our clip back to Final Cut Pro? Well, no problem. You go to your File Out node. You go up to Render. Say Render File Out Nodes. Say Render. And it's going to open up your flipbook. And it's going to go Town Rendering. Okay, now this is the main step that most people forget to do. They'll go in, they'll do all their work in Shake, and, and work real hard at it, and, and, and put a lot of time into it, and then they go to send it back to Final Cut Pro, and 
they reconnect their media and everything and it looks the same and they can't figure out why it looks the same and that's because they haven't re-rendered their file out nodes so this is something that you have to remember now I'm gonna go ahead and render this whole scene out of 800 frames okay so um, set back and uh, wait a couple minutes and uh, I'll be back as soon as it gets done rendering I'm just gonna edit the video so I'll see you in a minute okay now we're on 750 frames shakes almost done rendering as you can see the CPU all four cores maxed out to the bone shake is wonderful guys I'm telling you it really is it's the best renderer that I've seen you know I just I just really like it it's great Final Cut Pro, Motion, none of them use this amount of CPU usage when rendering. None of them. But Shake does. Okay, now we're finished. As you can see, we rendered that out. All 882 frames. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro. And now, as you can see, we have this sequence from Shake laid on top of our original sequence, but it's turned off. So turn it on. And when you turn it on, bam. Look at there. There might be an instance where if your if your uh, video doesn't update, if it don't look the same, you'll have to right click, go down to reconnect media, and then just navigate to the place. I'll say search, and it's going to search for me. Or you can do it manually by saying locate, and you go to the file which will be under movies. I put it under movies from Shake to FCP, and there it is, sequence five from Shake. That's if the uh, that's if the media you sent back from Shake isn't updated. But as you can see, it automatically updated. Right there we go. All the effects we did in Shake is right there in our timeline, ready to be worked on and edited in FCP. And that's how simple it is to go between FCP and Shake. A lot of people are having problems, and I don't know why, but it works seamlessly. And I hope you get something out of this, guys, and um, we'll see you next time.